was the last time you changed your routine? When was the last time you did something different or just something new? I ask you this because I want to explore the transformative power that leaving your comfort zone can have in building confidence. My name is Fred, and first things first, what is a comfort zone? It's a psychological state where you feel at ease, secure, and familiar. A pleasant space, you feel in control of your environment, and experience relatively low levels of stress. You don't have to do anything new, difficult, or scary. Where stepping out of your comfort zone simply refers to doing something you're not comfortable with, something you might fail at or not enjoy. But outside of this zone lies new experiences, challenges, and adventure. It may not bring immediate happiness, but the discomfort associated with this process is a sign of growth. I like to think about the learning zone model, developed by German educator Tom Senninger. He draws inspiration from Levi Gotsky's proximal zone of development. It encourages individuals to view discomfort as a learning opportunity, which fosters adaptability and resilience. It consists of three different zones. The comfort zone, characterized by the sense of familiarity and safety. The learning zone, where risks become conduits for new discoveries. And the panic zone, where there's a shift in focus towards protective and secure measures. Yet, the brilliance of this model lies in the recognition that growth is not a straight path. It's dynamic in the sense that individuals will traverse between the comfort and learning zone. And it ensures that people will never feel the pressure to escape into the panic zone. In essence, the learning zone model emerges as a roadmap, guiding individuals towards continual evolution and enrichment. And consequently, they find themselves expanding their comfort zone. A further study by Nodo Kanatse and Mark Leary looked at how much people value doing things outside their comfort zone. People paint comfort zones as yes-no decisions, but they're in fact dynamic in the sense that it involves people's willingness to complete a certain task, and if it's worth the potential benefits. The participants of the study were asked to eat fried insects, handle a large cockroach, or dance in front of other people. And it found that people who were more inclined to do things outside their comfort zone were more confident in their abilities. Therefore, leaving your comfort zone can come easier to some than others. I presume that's why not everyone climbs Mount Everest. In the realm of creativity and innovation, leaving your comfort zone is often the breeding ground for novel ideas and breakthroughs. By putting yourself in an unfamiliar situation, you invite the possibility of seeing things from another perspective. And I ask you now, think of your own defining experiences. Think of moments in your life when you took accountability and responsibility for others. And you will find, as I am finding out now, that true growth emerges when there's no room to hide. A vulnerable space where you can be judged and critiqued by others. And for me personally, this has always been a challenge. I know it's hard to believe, but I was quite shy as a child growing up. I had little friends, and I was best characterized as a teacher's pet. But one day, they were holding auditions for the year six play. And I know it seems silly, but I was interested. So I auditioned. Unfortunately, I didn't get the main part. I was stuck with the side character, the old man. Just a few lines. But I was surprised at how much I enjoyed the experience. It inspired something inside me. And after the performance, one of the teachers suggested to me I should pursue acting. So after a lot of encouragement, I joined the drama school. And I loved it. I got to experiment with different drama techniques, play different characters. And a few weeks go by, and the school, the drama school, puts me up for a Netflix TV series audition. And initially, I held little interest. I mean, what were the chances that I was going to get it? I would <sighs> clueless. But I gave it a go. I learned the script, practiced over and over and over, and I did the audition. A few weeks go by, I get a call telling me I was cast for the role. And it was great, unique experience. I got to meet loads of fabulous people. And I'm just so grateful for that initial decision to do the year six play, join a drama school, and audition for this TV series, because it enabled me to go on and enjoy this fabulous adventure. So how? 
How do we find opportunities to leave our comfort zone? It begins with a shift in mindset. Viewing discomfort not as an obstacle, as a hindrance, but as an opportunity. This change in mindset actively sets the foundation to seeking discomfort. I want you to embrace new decisions, and you will find that it encourages you to step out of your comfort zone. I want you to find areas in your life when growth is possible and seize them. I advise you to set out tasks for yourself, make them approachable, manageable, and break them down to smaller tasks to make the whole process easier. And finally, be open to change, whether it's a change in career, location, routine. By putting yourself outside of your zone, you're opening the possibility of viewing things as different, a different perspective, and that's how we realize our full potential. The process of our comfort zone is intricately linked from an evolutionary perspective to personal development. So I ask you now, what will you do? How will you escape your comfort zone? Thank you.